Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us for another edition of our Small Business Saturday Spotlight. My name is Kathy Potter, and I'm the Member Relations Director for the Lubbock Chamber of Commerce. I'm here today with John Wedigy from Western Bank. They are our Small Business Saturday sponsor this month. So, John, thank you for being here with us today. Tell us a little bit about Western Bank. My pleasure, Kathy. Thanks for having us. Uh, Western Bank is a uh, family-owned bank. We specialize in and small business and uh, we're we actually make all of our decisions quickly and efficiently out of the building that I'm sitting in right now so uh, we, we pride ourselves in our on our service and our speed and and being a, a good partner to our customers well we appreciate you guys thank you for being our sponsor for um, to spotlight our small businesses so we're excited today to have mike neam here he is with west family hospitality and they have the lbk brewery dirks and the west tables so mike thank you for letting us spotlight you this month tell us a little bit about the west family hospitality sure thank you so much for having us um, so yeah, as you mentioned, uh, we, we run a few concepts here uh, in downtown Lubbock, um, we'll start with the West Table. Uh, we've, uh, we're a restaurant that's been here for about six and a half years now, or almost uh, a little over six years now. And, uh, you know, we, uh, start, you know, we're basically a kind of a upper end fine dining restaurant. We're located in the Pioneer Condominium Building, um, led by Chef Cameron West. He is a, you know, bona fide, um, uh, you know, uh, trained chef. He uh, went to Napa Valley, trained there. He's worked on a lot of big name chefs uh, around the United States. Came back to his roots here in Lubbock, Texas. He decided to open up a restaurant. So, uh, you know, that's what we're doing here. Uh, we also have the coffee shop that we that opened up a couple of years after the West Table, and then we have the brewery LBK, which opened up about two years ago. And uh, so, right now, we're a brew pub. We're uh, just trying to sling as many cool beers and uh, do a lot of as many things as possible and try to grow from there. And then our latest concept is Dirk's uh, Fried Chicken, uh, named after uh, Cameron's grandfather, who was Dirk West. Um, you know, he's uh, kind of a legendary, iconic figure here in Lubbock, Texas. He's the creator of uh, Raider Red, um, and uh, he was cartoonist for the Avalanche Journal for a long time. He was a mayor of Lubbock for, uh, for a stint as well. So, you know, he's a popular figure. Um, you know, and uh, once opened up a fried chicken restaurant that kind of paid homage to him and uh, all the things he's done for, for love it. So all three places are fantastic. I can tell you I have visited all of them. The West Table has some really um, cool different dishes, dishes that you can't get everywhere. Um, of course, the beer is great. And Dirks is awesome. They have all of the artwork that he's talking about, not all of it, but a lot of the artwork on the walls. So it's a really cool atmosphere in there. So um, this is a question for both of you guys. What do you think is important about the Chamber's role in our community? Um, you know, for us, I think the, the most important role that Chamber uh, plays for us, you know, whether it's it's 2020 and all its craziness or any other time is, uh, you know, from my involvement with the Chamber, it, it is a great way to bring individuals and businesses together and kind of be that bridge, um, <clears throat> you know, to bring small business owners together, to bring, uh, you know, people in the community who are involved, uh, have other people's perspective, have that support and just, you know, really be a foundation for, or for facilitating that for what about you, Mike? What do you think is important about our role? I think um, exposure, um, first and foremost, uh, you know, we, we certainly could not have uh, come as far as we've, we've, we've gone with our concepts and with being downtown without the, the help and the exposure from the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, the support that they provided and the networking and uh, the tools that they've, they've provided to us um, it, by way of just general support and networking and, and giving us, uh, you know, a platform and getting us in front of other people that we otherwise would not have had a chance to get in front of has been tremendous for us. And uh, I, I, they're just such an instrumental part uh, for small businesses, for downtown, for all the growth that we're trying to do here in Lubbock. Um, I, I think that they're just a, such a vital piece of that puzzle. Yeah. So Mike, um, something that I'm thinking about is, over this past year, besides the obvious, you know, that has happened, what is the biggest challenge that you guys have faced and how have you overcome it? Um, 
really, you know, and I'll, I'll kind of go back to what you just mentioned. That I know that's kind of the obvious answer, but really that's just been such a, um, a wrench in a lot of people's plans um, across not just the restaurant industry, but, you know, I'm sure banking has, has hurt from it. Uh, all the reverberations um, that have been felt from just having just a stoppage in, in play due to this pandemic has, has hurt a lot. Um, but again, that's somewhere, that's, 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 a, that's a place where the Chamber of Commerce has helped out because all the resources and uh, you know, all, all, all the things that they've provided, tools to help small businesses try to get past that has been instrumental. And uh, so has you know, financial institutions like Western Bank. They've made the, the job a lot easier with respect to just trying to find a little more funding uh, with the PPP um, funding to, to help us kind of keep going. For sure. Well, we appreciate you again. Thank you for letting us spotlight you. Um, I want to ask you guys just a couple of fun questions since we have some time left. So, Mike, what is one thing that you wish you would have known when you started your career? That I wish I would have known? Yeah. What would you tell younger Mike? <laughs> um, you know, it's, I've been in this industry for a long time uh, since uh, you know, I started off in customer service and uh, my, my first job ever was sacking groceries. Uh, and so I kind of knew what I was getting into as far as like the hours and things like that that demanded. Yeah. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing that I've learned is that it is such a people-centric industry. Um, you know, I think the hardest part of running a restaurant, running a brewery, um, running a coffee shop, all of that, it's not, it's not about the food, it's not about the, the hours, not about any of that, it's about the people. Um, whether that is, you know, managing your staff and your crew or dealing with, with guests and customers and things like that. Um, and so I think that that's, that's somewhere where I would have focused a lot more on when I was younger, um, you know, to try to really get ahead of and try to learn a lot more of. How would you answer that question, John? What would I tell younger John? Yeah. Uh, I think I would tell him to roll with the punches and uh, <clears throat> for lack of a better way of saying this, maybe savor the tougher times. Um, you know, I think that the challenges that we face personally and professionally um, make us who we are. And I'm, I'm kind of one of those people that, that says I wouldn't go back and change anything because I might not be where I am working with the people I'm working with and living, you know, the life that I'm living. So <clears throat> I think I would, uh, tell myself to be patient and, uh, you know, take, take life's lessons and experiences as they come. If you could have lunch or dinner with one person dead or alive, who would that be? Uh, I'd have to say my grandfather on my dad's side. Um, my family tells me all the time that, um, that, uh, I remind them of him and, I didn't get to know him as well <clears throat> as an older guy um, or as a family man, but uh, you know, I'd like to I'd like to pick his brain and maybe learn how to box. What about you, Mike? I would say Anthony Bourdain. Um, he he's uh, he's a figure that uh, obviously is well revered in our industry. Uh, he's a guy that's well traveled. He's done a lot of cool things. He's got a lot of good stories. Uh, he could he could teach you a lot about not only this industry but about life and about how to live it and how to enjoy it and how to embrace it and things like that. So um, if I had to meet anybody in history, I think that you'd be on top of my list. Yeah, for sure. Well, awesome guys. I appreciate you being here with us again today. Mike, tell us the best way to get a hold of you guys. Um, do you guys require reservations? Uh, and what is your website? Yes, so um, so we do yeah, uh, reservations are encouraged. We don't require them though. Um, uh, you can make reservations on a website at www.thewesttable.com. Um, the, our brewery is a little bit more, um, uh, more of a relaxed atmosphere. Um, you know, certainly we have limited seating now, but um, you know, any table that's there is first come first serve. It's, uh, so you know, we, we encourage everyone to come out and continue to support local businesses, whether it's us or whether it's um, any other brewery downtown or any other restaurants. Um, just keep supporting local and keep uh, coming out and, and, uh, and eating out wherever you can, whenever you can. What about you, um, John? What's the best way to get a hold of you guys? 
You can call us at 798-9700. You can reach us at any branch uh, through that number or visit us at westernbank.com or better yet, come visit us in person and we'll take you to eat at uh, the West Table or Dirks. We are sandwiched uh, in between all of their concepts and so they probably get tired of seeing our faces there, but uh, it's a it's an easy place to make a good impression on a customer to take them to eat one of those one of those spots. Yeah, it's awesome. We love having you guys downtown. I love it. We've been to we all. Love being here. <laughs> so, well, we appreciate you guys. Thank you for being our spotlight. Thank you for sponsoring, um, John. We appreciate you guys, and we will see you next week. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it.